This is getting out of hand. Now Micro Machines is doing Star Wars quarter scales. What's up YouTube? This is Hal Runner from the Puzzle Plastic team, and today we're going to be reviewing the Micro Machines Battle Droid Trade Federation Droid Control Ship. This is a really cool set, so let's go ahead and get started and review this thing. I just want to send a shout out to Pitch Black. Thank you so much for this set. This set was actually a present that was given to me by Pitch Black and I really really appreciate this. I am uh, starting to collect these micro machines even though the company is out of business. I really think these are just the coolest things to have. And I saw this battle droid head and I just had to have it. Um, as far as the shape of the head, there's a size comparison. Um, I mean it's a pretty pretty good size here is it set up against a, a vintage pack or a vintage figure um, it's it's basically life size the only difference is the head is a little bit shorter it should actually go down to about here because in real life the head would be a little bit longer but I can't complain at all because they've done so much as far as paint detailing and everything and this being a 90s set it's just amazing but uh, let's go ahead and get started let me give you some good uh, views of the paint job and the eyes are perfect and under here you can see all the uh, screws and details and all that and the neck not that long but it's long enough to give it somewhat of a stand and it's really cool uh, each one of these individually comes up and this is sort of loose but I'll show you the purpose of those in a minute there are so many neat little things that are packed into this set it's unbelievable what micro machines used to do with these things so let's go ahead and uh, unfold this thing first uh, this pops up and you can see it came with a whole sheet of stickers and obviously I've got them all on already I didn't think to uh, send uh, or I didn't think to put a picture of it on here but um, yeah I mean the stickers are really good they still had their stick even because this was a box set he bought for me the stickers still had their stick even after all these years um, really really cool and what this is meant to do is uh, basically it's like a little command center let me go ahead and get all the mini things it comes with the mini figures it comes with one Naboo Starfighter with a peg on it and I'll show you what that does in a second one uh, sort of macho looking uh, red security battle droids a little bit bigger than what it should look like but that's okay and then a droideka they are no match for the droidekas and then it also comes with this um, uh, like laser bolt dart and I'll show you what that does in a second but basically what this section does is that it's like a little command center for that red droid which is cool for younger people that like to play with these things but I am not a young person I like to collect these things so first off I wanted to note that there is a small stand like ramp that comes off the side that most people don't know about or I didn't know about but what I had to do to get to it was unscrew one one two three four five six seven eight pop this whole thing off and then pop it or push it into position because what it was doing was it was bulging this area 
and I could see it but I couldn't get to it but now I can do it pretty easily all I had to do was move a few parts around to set the play scene up the movie scene you take this and there's a little uh, cannon spring-loaded cannon under this panel here this floor board and then you take on this peg this moving peg it's on a slit then you take it and press it on pretty durable and then you just uh, move it back press it through now I do want to make another note here that these do not come off and they're not counted as minifigures they're meant to swing around when they get hit by the Naboo Starfighter this one was bent because that's the way it was packed in the packaging so but anyway so so you get those the way you want them to be obviously you can do this way faster but I'm just going over it slowly you can put this one in optionally and now this right here is a pull mechanism it's a it's got a spring in it and you push this back a little bit farther pull this back farther and then flick it and it knocks all that stuff down but if you flick it hard enough it fires now what it's supposed to do, the droid goes in the way but that's alright, what it's supposed to do is press it and it hits that button and it flops these generators down and when you're done there you go pretty sweet huh so there's a lot of cool things in this I definitely recommend it I would give it a 10 out of 10 just for sheer awesomeness factor uh, I'm a battle droid collector myself so this was a must-have I've never seen anything like this um, the definite uh, decos the paint decos on the actual battle droid head uh, are really really sweet uh, oh and by the way in order to pack this thing up one thing they w did not include was the ability to pack it up with all the components inside of it you cannot pack it up with all this in it you have to uh... Oopsie. you have to pack or you know move that down then swing this up and all that but you cannot fit all that inside of this it just won't work. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We also have a Twitter account. Check it out, Corporal. I'll cover you. If you have a question about this review or ideas on upcoming reviews, you can email us. Our email is in the description below. What's up YouTube? This is Howrunner from the Puzzle Plastic team and today we're going to be reviewing the Battle Droid Trade Fit Trade Trade Federation Control Ship. Oh, the Trade Federation Control Ship. What is oh, a little German in there? What's up YouTube? This is hot uh, this is Hasbro. Ooh. I'm getting I'm getting up there. Here is the droid head. This is a premium grade battle droid with great uh, battle droid uh, things. What? It is a little bit longer, more elongated in real life, but I mean you can't. Whoops. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you, dog. We got wood flooring in there going. I think the angels are bowling. Oh. Oh, wait till the lighter flares up. <laughs>
Roger, roger. We can't operate in this rain. Oh, Gabriel got a strike. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can also check us out on... Oh, I have an idea. Thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can also check us out on Twitter. Oh, wait. Dang it. Thank you for watching this video. Do <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We also have a check... We also, we also have a, have a check checker. it out, Corporal. We also have a checkers account. Thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. There, we also have uh, uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Am I the only one that has a Jedi on my scalps? You dumb Clone Lord. Thank you for watching this video. You know I got that sound. Make an animation where it's a vintage bad droid and just lands on a It almost say, it looks like a pet, like an animal. Don't touch it. I'm getting ready to film.